but I do know that if you don't work out even the smallest problems right at the start, the magic of friendship can be turned into something else. Rainbow Dash, I understand that you had this idea to make this band, but that doesn't mean it's your band. And you showboating doesn't make anything better since you pony up. And you really should know better to not abandon your friends, even for you. I guess I'm the one who just completely made this entire band completely worse ever since I keep showboating and not having Flash Eye play her song. I'm really for Greffa for what I did. Applejack, you're the one who are making the arguments even more worse. I mean, I can understand that you're really helping, but you are making the arguments even more worse. You should really know better to control your anger instead of laughing at someone in order to make the arguments go away. Well, I guess I got a little too mad at Rainbow Dash and Rarity. I really need to think better on how to completely control my anger on this whole thing. I wouldn't really think much better than what I was doing. Rarity, I can understand your competition to the band. But you really need to stay focused on our songs. That's what a band is supposed to do. Focus on the songs, then the dresses. I mean, we can do that in the final round. But not every round before the final round. Well, I was too obsession with my costumes that I made throughout this entire band's thing. And I really got carried away. I didn't stay focused on the music or any of that kind of stuff. Ugh, I feel so ashamed. Fluttershy, I can understand Rainbow Dash refuses to use your song, but that doesn't mean you can be mad at her because she rejected it. Because we were in a serious situation, and that's way more important than playing your song. I know we never get to play any songs in our band, but we're in a serious situation, and you should know this. I guess you're right. I mean, I just wanted to play my song because it's very sweet and enjoyable. But I really completely got scared of being in the attention of so many people to the point where I forgot that they were under the silent spell. Pinkie Pie, you didn't do anything wrong in this. But this isn't all about fun. This is a very serious situation. You should know better that we're not in this band just to have fun. Even though that we did that last day, that still doesn't mean we should have fun right now. The, the Dazzlings are taking over the whole school. Oh, I must have been way too excited over this band thing. We're sorry. I know that this is very unnecessary, but I just wanted to prove a point that I can make this scene a little bit better than what Mel Kim Borny can do. At least in my opinion of what I'm going to do with this movie. However, again, there won't be enough time. And secondly, I understand that they're doing what they're supposed to do all along, but it's still predictable writing. But that has nothing to do with the plot because that's what bands always go through. I just got nothing else to say about that. The issue with that is, is that after this, it's just gone. Not the Dazzlings being gone. The argument of the main five is just gone. Yes, they learn the lessons, but they didn't talk to each other. Even though they didn't have much time to do it, I still didn't like it. Even the predicament that they're always into... This one is so serious because Rainbow Rocks is the only movie where it has nothing to do with people getting corrupted by magic. And if you're going to point out that Twilight got development into this whole thing, well, um, I just, okay, I actually kind of, this is kind of the only thing that I think that saying sorry to each other is unnecessary, but at the same time, it's still important to have it, in my opinion. I can understand that Twilight didn't know how to do a cow spell during this time in the Quest of Girls and My Little Pony, but that still doesn't mean I can easily skip this whole thing. And besides, the main five literally didn't know what to do, so that's why she was in this predicament. She just didn't know what she was doing, and she thinks 
that she has all the answers, but she really doesn't. And you know what? It's better than her being an abomination of a princess in the fanfic. Anyway, I know this rant is just really personal and it's really unnecessary and stuff like that, but I just want to prove my point on why the argument is something I cannot enjoy of Rainbow Rocks. I mean, it's not a disaster, but it's something that kind of ruins the entire band thing. It just does for me. I mean, the Wayne Booms isn't a real band in real life, only in the question it goes, but when it comes to an argument that goes way too far, ah, oh man, I mean, if if this band was in real life, I would probably have second thoughts on talking to them, even though that the question goes and My Little Pony are supposed to be different from each other. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I'm Lonely Fanboy for right here, and I'll see you next time with my next video, which is gonna be a YouTube commentary.